Hey guys, it's Judy, and um, I know I my last video in this layout, um, Project Life Share, a lot of people had questions about how to print my photos like this, um, and I use the PicFrame app, but this I actually is a 4x6 that I cut in half. This was actually stacked on top of each other, kind of like um, this photo. You see how this photo is a 4x6, but it's the vertical way and basically I put four um, photos on one and I just cut it in half and I'll show you on the pick frame app this normally because normally on collages that go horizontal um, let me see I have one somewhere the horizontal one oops was oops in February. Sorry, <laughs> I'm like flipping through here. Um, let's see. This one I actually just cut in half this way. But normally, for horizontal ones, um, four by sixes, um, the pictures are wider this way. And this is your normal um, three by two orientation, kind of like when you do the three by fours on two pages. You see, this is, I mean, um, a four by six with two three by fours together. That's the same um, three by two ratio, you know, only I used four photos. And then, but the one I originally showed on. Um, my layout last share last time was actually vertical with um, four photos and they're all more vertical and then I just cut them in half and split them amongst um, two cards because I didn't have um, too many photos like that and I didn't want to use a whole um, page protector, sorry guys, a whole page protector to um, just include those two photos. I'm sorry about my shakiness. Um, so, because those would fit perfectly in the design um, D layouts um, like these, you know, it would fit right in there. This is the one where it's t uh, the four vertical four by sixes, and then the rest are in the middle with the three by fours. So this is a design D. So I didn't want to use that because I don't have many layouts, um, le many pictures like that. But let's cut to the chase, <laughs> and I'll show you. I have an iPhone um, five, so um, this is the PicFrame app. Let me just hair focus. So go in the pick frame app. I already have a picture up here. Um, so basically when you you open it you'll see the frames on the bottom and that's basically all I use. You go to frames and then for a normal two three by fours um, on a page so it would be like this photo here okay on a four by six. Two three by fours on a four by six um, basically, I go up here to the top corner and choose that it's um, 3 by 2 ratio, okay? So you'll see that it's um, kind of horizontal, right? And then you do two photos in one, okay? And then you just choose that. And then you um, click on it to look at whatever photos you want to choose and then like the camera roll and then you just select whatever photos and then it'll and then um, it'll show you know show up and then usually you just share it to save to your camera roll you save it and then to print it out you just um, I usually print from home so but now it'll be on my camera roll so then um, on my camera roll I can just print it to my computer at home my printer at home or you can just however you print your prints I did um, sign up for Groovebook but I will do a separate video on that um, so after you save 
Um, so you'll have two like that. Now, to get the four, um, four in one, you go to frames. Now let's see. See how when you do it um, horizontal orientation, which is still the three by two um, with four photos. Now, some gets cut off. You can like adjust it and stuff, you know. Um, so this would still fit in the horizontal pocket, but um, depending on how your pictures are, sometimes um, they need to be vertical. So if you just switch, like this would um, look like that photo I showed before where it was um, across two, two pages, let's see, like this one that would come out like this, okay? And then you can still cut it in half and put it in your vertical 3x4 slot, okay? Or put it all in one 4x6 spot, okay? But to get um, photos like, where was the Valentine's Day one? This one, to get that one, okay? because they were more vertical photos. Um, if it was horizontal, it would have cut off our heads or it wouldn't look as nice. So let's say if we go back to the frames and you still want four photos, you switch the orientation to the two by, oops, sorry guys, to the two to three, so you'll see it's vertical. Okay, oh, I still didn't get it, sorry. Two by, th I thought it's not showing. Two, sorry, let me, it's not working. Three by two, two by three, there you go. So the two by three was the long way, like that one. And then, pick on that. So now you see the whole thing, okay? And, um, you know, depending on whatever photos you want, this way, okay? So, basically, if these are one of the design G inserts, where it doesn't totally, it's not a, tw a full 12 by 12, because it's an insert. But what I like about these inserts is it has the 4 by 6 vertically, um, as well as 4 by 6s horizontally. So, but in that particular spread I had, this one, okay, um, I didn't have a vertical 4 by 6 and I wanted to put it across 2. So basically I just took one of these and chopped it in half and it still fits really nice. I like it how it turned out because um, it makes the two cards go together nicely and you also have so much room to journal or embellish um, the card. So I really like the size of this as well. Okay. So basically when you do it like this, to recap, you're using 2x3 because 2x3 will get you the vertical one, okay? And three by two is what you normally do for um to for the you know for the horizontal look for the popular um pages. One by one is just the I think the square ones. But let's go back to the oh, I keep pressing it. Sorry, I'm like all twisted here. <laughs> It is not reading my... There we go. So it'll be like that, and you can just cut it in half, and it won't fit um, a whole 4x6, and it won't fit in the regular vertical um, 3x4s, but you can put it on your 4x6s and still have room to journal and title. So that's how I did it. So then it would actually be, what's half of six, three, it's a three by two card. Um, 
No, it's actually, no, what it is is it's a three by four card um, um, sideways. So if you actually took this out, it would fit in one of these, but it would go the wrong direction, <laughs> if I make any sense. I hope this clears it up for some people. But yeah, definitely when you want it in this orientation, um, it's the two by three ratio versus the three by two. Okay, guys, and uh, that's it. Hope you guys um, um, learned something new or hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any more questions or comments, um, and I'll try to answer them. Thanks, guys. Bye.